Welcome and thank you for always joining our discussions. We are presenting a question on income tax, a subtopic in commercial arithmetic 2, form 3 mathematics. And the question we have reads the table below shows income tax rates where one Kenyan pound is equivalent to 20 shillings. We have the table monthly taxable pay in Kenyan pounds, rate of tax in shillings per pound. The question further says a company employee earns a monthly basic salary of 30,000 and also given taxable allowances amounting to 10,480. Part A calculate total tax or simply gross tax. Total tax is tax calculatable from the table. The first thing we do is to start by calculating the taxable income. And taxable income is given by the basic salary. We add all the taxable allowances. We minus nominal rent. A nominal rent is for the people who are housed by the employer for which they pay a nominal rent. In this case, we are given a basic salary of 30,000. We add total allowances of 10,000. 480 and that gives us an amount equivalent to 40,480 per month. Then you look at the table on the left hand side. Our money, uh, the table is on monthly, but the amount is in Kenyan pounds and therefore we take 40,480 and change it into Kenyan pounds. So we are going to have 40,480. You divide by 20 and this one is going to give us Kenyan pounds 2024. From there now we go and start taxing. Remember 2024 is excess over 1740 and therefore we are going to have first, second, third, fourth, and fifth bracket. So we begin with first bracket, second bracket, third bracket, fourth bracket, and finally we are going to our fifth bracket, which is the last bracket. The amount we are going to tax in the first bracket is the maximum of 435. The second bracket, you take maximum second minus maximum first, Still you get 435. To know the amount we are taxing in the third bracket, you take maximum 1305 minus 870. You still get 435. Then in the fourth bracket, 1740 minus 1305, you get 435. And to now know the amount we are going to tax, which is excess of 1740, we take 3, 435, 435. 435, 435, and this one will give us 1740. From here now we are going to take 2024 minus 1740, and this one is going to give us an amount equivalent to 284. 284 is what we are going to tax in the last bracket. Now that we have known the amount to tax in each bracket, we can now go and calculate the taxes. The rate of tax in the first bracket is 2, second is 3, third is 4, fourth is 5, and lastly we have 6. 435 times 2 you get 870. 435 times 3 you get 1305 435 times 4 you get 1740 435 times 5 you get 21 75 and lastly 284 times 6 you get 1704 once we have done that, you add all this, and this one is going to give us 77.94. Remember the question wants us to calculate total tax, which is the same as gross tax, and a gross tax 
you get it by adding 7, 8, 70, 13, 0, 5, 17, 40, 21, 75, 17, 0, 4, which is going to give us an amount equivalent to shillings, 7,794. That is the answer to part A. B, the employee was entitled to a personal tax relief of 800 per month. Determine the net tax. To get net tax, we simply take the gross tax, you minus relief. And in this case, the gross tax is 77.94 minus a relief of 800. And this one is going to give us an amount equivalent to 69.94. We can now move to part C. If the employee received 50% increase in its total income, calculate the corresponding percentage increase on the income tax. The first thing is to calculate the new total income. New total income will be obtained by simply taking 50% excess of 100 which is 150% times the taxable income was uh, 2024 in Kenyan pounds, and this one is going to give us 3036. Once we have gotten that, we don't have to repeat the entire process of taxing. We only need to calculate the tax in the fifth bracket new tax in the fifth bracket would be obtained by simply taking 30 36 u minus 1740 so that we get the new excess in the th uh, fifth bracket and this one is going to give us 1296 we multiply by 6 and this one is going to give us 77.76. From there now we can calculate what we call total tax after the change or increase in total income. And in this case, the gross tax will be 870 because the only difference is on the fifth, on the fifth bracket. We add 13.05. We add uh, 1740, we add uh, 2175, and lastly we are going to add the new tax in the 50 bracket of 7776, and this one is going to give us a total of 13. 1,866, which we are going to use to calculate the net tax, and the net tax is going to be 13,866 minus, minus 800, which is relief, and this one is going to give us an amount equivalent to 13,066. In this case now we can use this to calculate the increase in income tax. Change in income tax would be obtained by taking 13,066 minus the tax we paid in the first scenario of 69.94 and this one is going to give us 60.72 and for us to get the percentage change we are going to take the change of 60.72 you divide by 77.94 then you divide you multiply by 100% and this one is going to give us, if we can calculate that, we have 60.72, you divide by 77.94, this one is going to give us 
0.906, which is going to be approximately 77.91 percent, as the corresponding percentage increase on the income tax. Thank you for watching and welcome to our discussions. And in case you are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click the subscribe button so that anytime we publish a video like this, you'll automatically be given a notification. Thank you and welcome.